It's a topical back with another video. I'm Strange Wang, and I don't know if my shirt works because it's bluish, looks kind of green, and I'm using a green screen. Social media links down in the description box below, along with our Patreon and our coffee account. Please donate, help out the channel. It would be great. But now let's go on to brass tacks. I gave old 4.7 out of 10 wings. Why? 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 Because the story is great, it's original, it's what I need in my cinema. I need something new, unlike a film we're going to talk about next. I need something new, I need something original in my cinema, and this story is great. I absolutely love this story, but M. Night Shyamalan's vision is terrible. This film really sums up his career almost perfect. And I'm going to relate it to when you're dating someone... And they're perfect. Usually when this happens, they're listening, they're asking how your day is, they're remembering things, the brink of a conversation, they are great in bed, they're perfect. They buy the flowers, you know, the whole nine. Perfect partner in a relationship, but it's missing that it factor. You don't know what it is, it's just like, ugh. you're doing everything right, but it still is not working in this case, it's M. Night Shyamalan's vision. Because the dude's just weird. He's on another planet. He's probably buying a planet after Little Uzi Vert buys his planet. Because he's on a whole different planet. And it shows in this film. Because he, his filmmaking is great. It's on the right track. And then it goes off to the left and veers so much because he's so weird. Kids do not act this way. People do not act this way. If they do, I don't know them. Because these characters are unlikable because they're not real. They're not authentic. And the whole time you're like, ugh. That's almost cringy. Little kids don't know that many big words. And it just doesn't help the film. It doesn't help you invest in these characters. And that goes along with the writing too. There's just not enough investment time with these characters to invest with them. And that's another problem I have with the film. The film feels rushed. You're getting straight to the beach, which is good. But then you have to put so much extra into the beach stuff to make it into a full-length film. Because this would have been a great Twilight Zone episode, but it's an hour and a half long movie. So, with that being said, it could have been better. It could have been a lot better. It couldn't have been rushed, but it was rushed. His vision... I don't think worked for this film. I never read the graphic novel. I didn't know it was based off a graphic novel until the credits came, which made me interested because this could have been a really good movie. Like I said, like I've been saying, but M. Night Shyamalan, he is so left field. He makes his characters unlikable. It doesn't add any relatability. It ruins the tension in some scenes and even down to the cinematography. You're on a beach, you get a ton of beautiful shots. But the camera movement isn't good. It's like, it's gross, honestly. Because you're supposed to, characters are supposed to drive scenes. The camera's just veering off here and there. It doesn't look good. It looks very amateur. And for this film that had a lot of potential to hold a lot of attention. And even after the fact, I'm like, man, there's so much more you could have done with this and done less. But M. Night Shyamalan, he's a weird cat, and this film shows it. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But tell me what you thought about it. I thought it was about a 4.7 out of 10, personally, but... That's my opinion! You can put your opinion down in the comment section below. After that, scroll up, hit the like button, share the video, and... Subscribe to the YouTube channel so we can grow, not old. It's not a game, it's a red stick.